Welcome back in this video we will be working on these protected play areas so let's get started <coughs> excuse me so like before we're going to start off with the basic cube so we're just going to move it into place just I'm lining, up, I'm lining it up in the side view I'm just going to scale up now so it just roughly matches the, the image. I'll scale in X um, so, we'll, so it matches um, the side view. If you notice here, yeah, I'm trying to keep the same width as the image. Just rotating it now. I'm translating Z. So I'm just going to select these bits and pull down. And pull these bits up. I'm just pulling and pushing the bits so they roughly match up to the image. You can see that you can see you can um, easily see how many components this um this this this, this um, make is made from. Um, I, I imagine these 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 are some kind of protective type plates to um, shield the uh, um, leg joints. Similar similar to um, the the foot area. So just quickly undid that. Nope, it's not working. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna bevel it. I'm gonna give you some round, round, um, roundness to it. You can see on, on in the channel box on the right where it says offset, you can um, change the values of the how how, how close or how far apart these um, these beveled edges are. So about around point uh, three should be fine. See, I think I might get rid of that. Let's try and get different things. And don't be afraid to try out different stuff. It's like I've been saying all along. So we'll do, we'll just start from this with this part of my area instead. So what I'm going to do now is just um extrude and scale in. I'm just gonna tweak these a bit. Can extrude one more time. This time I'm gonna extrude straight up. I'm gonna do one more time now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> That's three extrusions in total. So we got that inner cavity. So 
just gonna tweak this, this um, these um, corner bits here. Just gonna pull them up a bit because you can see from the image they seem to be um, slightly higher than the back pieces. Again, using the reference images as to, as a guide to as um, to tell me where I should be um, lining up with. So what what I should be lining up with. So I'm just checking from all angles as as per usual. It's not just um just edge needs tweaking. <coughs> Excuse me. Just tweaking bits. Me. You can see that from the reference images, um, a lot of these shapes are just basically um, simple. Uh, start off from a simple cube, um, where it just takes a lot of um, extruding faces and tweaking verts and edges to get what you know, um, something that looks right. Excuse me. I'm just inserting a couple of edges here. Oh, well, that's not going to work. I think we're going to have to insert another, um, um, another edge here. I'm going horizontally. So I'm just gonna move these um move this um edge loop to the um, um to the right a little bit because you can see that um it's not even um you weren't even before so I just want to even stuff out keep the topology as even as possible yeah, even if it slightly deviates slightly deviates from the um reference image so I'm gonna blow this um. These faces away, and when you start pen poly control to uh, fill the apps. Nope. Don't think that works. There we go, I delete them. So now we can just use these um, faces and some um, bit snapping. Actually, I probably probably will use yeah, this use the pen to polygon tool. <laughs> and these additional edges, um, will give us some um, the um, polygon that we need to shape this area. You can see how quickly we're getting the shape now. I'm just scaling, I'm sorry, scaling the bits to the so they're nice and straight. I'm 
I'm just checking it. I'm taking a look at um, the object from all angles. And keep everything as evenly spaced as possible. That's looking much better. I'm just gonna tweak these bottom ones here to straighten them out a little bit. Let's pull these words up. Let's try to stay as close as possible to the reference images. Um, I mean, I want to stay as true as um, just I want to stay, I want to stay true to the reference image. I'm, I'm trying to keep um, trying to keep the polygon count as low as possible on this. So what I'm doing now is I'm creating a second um, cube, and I'm going to create this um, um, this um, bit just above the this protective plate. It's just easier to create as a separate separate object rather than um, extrude it out from the top. Actually, it's thought of something better. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this this piece here, this um, protective piece. I'm just gonna freeze the transformation first. Here there I'm gonna pull it up. So what I'm gonna do is gonna select these faces here. R rather than having to uh, mess about and try and get the cube to um, conform to the shape of this object, it's simply by deleting I'm sorry, um 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 duplicating these faces um will uh, allow it to uh, conform much better as you can see now it's much of noise I don't have to I mess around tweaking words. I already have everything lined up, so I'm just going to select all these faces and it's extrude up. This should give me the cube type um, look I'm looking for. There we go. It's matching up uh, pretty damn good. I just saved myself for a couple of minutes just by simply doing this. That's that's the that's the amazing um thing about three um three D. Um uh, there's a there's a whole there's a, there's there's a whole variety of ways to do things. I may have to add a couple edge loop splits here. Yeah, actually yeah I do. It's going horizontally, I'm have to um create uh, I think two. Actually, I think it's going to be four. Well, I might be able to get away with it. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's going to round out these corners a bit. This devil so slightly. Yeah, I've changed my mind on that. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this face and I'm gonna extrude in a couple times. Cause this this bit too has a um is um, has an intention. So I extruded in I may extrude once and um scaled it. So oh, I'm um, extruding again, sorry. I'm scaling again. Just using the reference images, tell me how many times I should extrude in. Just 
checking perspective um, view. I'm going to use the rotate tool to try and get everything to them. Actually, I just pull the button manually, it's just easier. I'm just pulling the words. It's looking much better now. So I'm going to select this face and I'm going to extrude in now. I, I, I usually extrude in twice, so bear that in mind. So what I did there is this time, I can insert it at an edge. And now I'm going to extrude it. Extrude it once, and I'm going to extrude it one more time. Get rid of this idea. I don't think I don't really think it's adding in anything. So, what I did here was just um, bevel this entire object. Actually, I undid that, I didn't really like the way it came out. And try again. Uh, I usually uh, manually bevel stuff, but um, this time I'm gonna go out and actually um, use use the actual bevel option. To, to use the beveling um, function, you have to you usually have to select um, the uh, couple edges. So you notice I'm selecting all the edges that go around. I'm selecting all these. Now I'm gonna bevel um let's make sure I get all of them. I'll bevel up and just see <coughs> excuse me. Just undid did that real quick. Nope, I'm still getting odd results. So I did that real quick. Baffled again. This looks much better. I'm just gonna use the sorry, just and tweak the offset. Sorry, there we go. Two is too high. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. And freeze transformations now. So 
all of a sudden did that we didn't really like it I think got this manually beverly out rather than just use the bevel function Oh, let's hit that one, please. I'm just trying to round it off. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working. Someone did that um, just quickly. Just hit that piece again. So what I'm doing now is just tracking this face individually, all these faces, and now I'm exploding it and scaling up. I'm sorry, scaling in. That's what I want. That's that's the, um, that's what I was trying to get before. That roundedness. The freezing transformations. So I'm just going to tweak these words now. That's much better. As this is what I was trying to aim for before, trying to get that rounded look to it. So I decided to run another edge loop here. What I'm going to do is delete one half, I think. Yep. Find that I do, I do this constantly throughout the entire tutorial. I just work on one side and duplicate over the other side. Gonna straighten up this um, inner cavity area. I'm just pulling this edge out. I'm just pulling this edge forward a little. Adding another edge loop here. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. I'm just trying to think if it was worth putting it in or not. So I discovered to that edge loop. Um, we do nothing, so this, I'm, I'm just stepping back a little bit now. Okay, I'm stepping back quite a lot. So 
I'm just gonna get rid of this um this exclusion we did before. Okay, we're just gonna do it again. Um, what we're gonna do is select these edge <coughs> and insert an edge here. Select the loop. I wanna scale out. There we go, we got that roundness now. The scaling X. There we go. That was what I've been looking for. Scale up a bit. So just um, bring all the ob objects back. Just want to see um, whatever um, the relationship between um, all the components. You can see we're getting a little bit of um, geometry penetration here. So I'm just gonna have to move this up. I'm just, just gonna have to um, adjust these. I'm going to disconnect and say energy here and just round this off. So select all the loops and just scale out <coughs> uniform, I mean in X. just want to get a little bit of roundness to but right now it's just looking too blocky. There we go, it's much better now. Spring game from back again. So I'm just gonna select these um, freeze transformations on them. We're almost finished with this part now. So delete the history. Always make sure you keep everything nice and organized and clean. So I'm just gonna select these words and move them. Um, move them in um, X a little bit. See that seems to have um, resolved the uh, geometry uh, penetration issue. I'm just gonna straighten up some of these words. That's better. No, um, I these. I'm just gonna have to tweak this now. I'm just gonna quick add this quickly and did a couple stuff. Here we go now it's looking much better. Must I must have translated it in a in a in a hard way. So I'm just gonna have to tweak these now. It's not nice. So I'll translate this in um Z a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. There 
everything seems to have been fixed now. In the center pivot, freeze transformations, delete by tapestry. So I'm just checking around in all um, directions, or all angles, I mean, sorry. So what I'll do now is just send, um, snap the pivot to the, to, the, to the grid, center of the grid, both objects, and I'm just going to duplicate your next. I'm sorry, duplicate and scale index by negative one. Same thing again. There we go, we got the front protective um, piece here. It's looking nice. Everyone's really starting to take shape now. <coughs> We're halfway there now. Got 50% of the model done. and turn an extra real quick and you can also see that these protective plates are also on the back too so I'm just gonna have to um, well, we'll get to those in the next video Hello?